Hi there, it's David from Project 42 and Musicians React. Uh, I'm back here with my final video reaction today because I'm sure if you've watched the videos I've uploaded, you are sick and tired of seeing this t-shirt because I'm sure as hell am of watching it in the video monitor. Uh, so I have done quite a few videos today. I've been kind of doing a nostalgia trip back from my early to uh, 1993, 94 where I used to go watch bands through to the sort of 2000s and that was kind of that five year, six year period uh, where I used to watch a lot of bands in clubs in London uh, and a lot of these bands went on to big things, some didn't uh, and I've just been kind of going back watching some of the videos back from the days because I haven't really listened to any of that music in some cases uh, since then. So one, but my final band for today is a band called Drain STH. Uh, they used to be known as Just Drain when I first sort of caught caught onto them but I later had to change the name due to issues with another band with the same name and the track I, is the track that I got introduced to we actually were given it as a freebie going to a club gig and from the record label and it was actually on a seven inch vinyl that's what they used to do back in days at the same time I got a cassette for a band called Scrap Iron Scientists so no CDs back then or downloads no such thing as the really the internet was something you didn't just didn't hear of no one had the internet no one had those sort of computers so this was band called Drain STH and the track is I Don't Mind. I uh, had a lot of comparisons to um, Alice in Chains back in the day and at the time I never heard it nowadays having listened to Alice in Chains which I didn't know at the time I can kind of understand it. So here we go this is Drain STH and the track I Don't Mind. Okay, before she starts singing, I love that crunchy guitar, that That is a nasty guitar sound, but it works so perfectly on this track. I think where the Alice in Chains comparison comes in, it's definitely the vocal style. Uh, I'm not sure if that's intentional from the, the singer here or not, but it's, yeah, I can kind of hear it now. So, uh, especially when she's singing, like, don't you feel concerned me? When you hear that little bit there, you can definitely hear the vocal kind of tones of an Alice in Chains in there. Uh, and in a way, this this hurt the band, in my opinion, because everyone then be claimed them to be an Alice in Chains clone, which I think takes away from actually good songwriting. This is a great song so far. Uh, we're just going to what I guess is the pre-chorus now. Okay, so let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Do you think they have a unique sound in the sense that they are completely separate to Alice in Chains? Uh, or do you think they are a female-fronted Alice in Chains clone? Uh, also, let me know what you think about the song. I mean, I love the, the guitar sound. The ju -ju 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 -ju. It's such a chunky sound. Um, everything's nicely flowing. The chord structure over the chorus works really. It's a very simple chord structure, but it works brilliantly with her haunting uh, vocal style. So the other bit you don't hear because you're you're too busy listening to the dun 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 dun. It's the dun dun dun. That constant little uh, little guitar bit at the end there really accents the song.
See, that's a nice sound. That da 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 da. That is a really cool little guitar sound. It's really simple. It's just basically playing a effectively a standard, I guess, an E chord. Um, but it, it's a build up, so you're kind of trying to keep it simple. You're not trying to write a big, complex little riff. You're trying to make it simple for the listener to kind of work out what they're doing uh, and what's coming next. So, yeah, let's keep going. Wow, so that, that, that to me is great. That's something when you're listening as a band or as a crowd to a band or you're an, another musician listening to them, you're kind of going, I get what they're trying to do. You're getting the head nod now. And hopefully when I stop pausing and you get a chance to actually listen to the song in full, you'll get that kind of vibe. So you, you should be getting your head nodding going. It should be natural. Okay, so that was Drain STH and I Don't Mind. It obviously someone's cut it a little bit short on the video they posted. Um, but yeah, I, I completely understand where people say the Alice in Change Connections. It has that vibe to it. It has that feel to it. It's the down-tuned. It's the kind of... It's that lower, sort of grungier tone. However, I do feel that Drain STH have their own sort of style in a way. Um, working from a female sort of uh, vocalist point of view. It's a full female band. I... I think they ha I think they just pay homage, if you like, to Alice in Chains. I love the eeriness on it, even over the solo. It wasn't like it was a proper solo. It was trying to almost be creepy, like horror movie. Um, and their first album was called Horror Wrestling, and this was the lead track off of that. So I guess that's kind of where they were going with it. Uh, but yeah, check the guys out. They're they're a great band. I don't think they're together anymore, but they had a couple of albums. Both albums were great. Uh, so I'll put a link to the band in the uh, information below. Uh, but as always, if you've got any bands you'd like me to check out, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, I, I'm always looking for new bands I've never heard of. Uh, if you find a band I've never heard of, especially probably or mostly it'd be a new band. However, if you think of an old band that I've never come across, I'd love to go check them out. Please let me know. Uh, and as always, please like, please share, please subscribe and please comment and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Take care.